Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here, and welcome into another LEGO Minecraft 2020 set review. Today we're going to be looking at set number 21157, the Big Fig Pig and Baby Zombie. It has 159 pieces and is retailing for $19.99 Canadian, so I believe that's going to be $14.99 American. So I think that this is a it's an interesting series. It's actually... The Creeper one that we looked at a few days ago really sold me on the series so much so that I went out and bought the first series and I really want to do a complete series video actually comparing them and comparing them to their actual real life Minecraft minifigure scale counterparts but today we're just going to be looking at this and it's quite interesting I gotta say I'm not that big a fan of this one specifically but it does quite look good when it's moving but when it's standing still you're, you're gonna see what I mean, but let's take off the baby zombie here so that we can just look at the pig for now. And let's straighten out the pig's legs. You can see how they're articulated. You can't really, uh, you can kind of have it standing up like a bear, I guess, if you wanted. But uh, the, the feet there can rotate and swivel around there on the mixel joints. And I think that a problem with any time that we use mixel joints for anything like this is... We need them in the actual colors that they're meant to be, so that should be pink, and it absolutely ruined the Adventure Time ideas set, but here the pig is, and I love the articulation. I think that's probably the best part, and I like all the different poses that you could have it, and you could have it lying down if you wanted, or even uh, flying, I guess, if you wanted, when pigs fly, right? And uh, you can rotate the feet, have them closed in. This kind of reminds me of uh, uh, Bullseye in uh, Toy Story 2. And I don't know, it's, 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 it's interesting. It definitely looks uh, quite scary, actually, with those eyes just staring right at you. <laughs> but uh, I like the textures uh, on the side here of the feet, as well as on the sides of the body. I think that's really cool. And you do have the jumpers there, of course, for you to put the baby zombie on. You can see here how the head works, and it's actually completely popped out by pulling on it a little bit too much. Um, it's interesting that they don't give you a red one like the creeper, but you can see how much articulation you've got here. You can't go really any past that because you are getting stuck there, but it, it is, you've got a lot of articulation and I think that it's pretty cool. I think that I really like the one by two tile print there of the nose, as well as the two by four tile print of the pig eyes I think that's really good like look at this I, every single time that I'm just playing around with this I keep getting new poses but I think that the problem is when you just put it normally and you just have them standing there next to your other big figures is it looks like it's floating like the legs aren't even attached like it doesn't it, it's very strange I don't know it's kind of weird and same with the head here depending on how you have it angled it just looks like it's not even attached to the body so I don't think that that's really well hidden but it's it's kind of interesting, but here's the baby zombie, and I just think that it's funny that we're getting a baby zombie before we're getting a regular big fig of a zombie, so that's kind of strange. So again, problem with the mixel joints and everything is he got this weird gray stud at the top of the zombie head. Like, it just would have been so much better if it was complete. You can stand him up there. He is really wobbly because of what he's actually standing on, but his arms have some articulation. You could spread them out, giving, a, giving the pig a big ol' hug, and you can actually turn the head. It is a little stiff, but you can turn that all the way around. And you can have him running there with his legs. And got you can have him do some push-ups and maybe even plank there. That's really good. But other than that, I think it's good. I think that it would have been good if his torso there had a little bit of printing. But other than that, I think it's it's quite cool. I, I really do enjoy this. I think that it is a cute little addition. And uh, while I don't think that every single big figure necessarily needs a side character like this, I think that it's it's interesting. But I don't know. I've never really seen a baby zombie riding a pig before. I think that, uh, that, that that's a little weird. But uh, look, look at this. They're, they're a good duo. Look, look at their acrobatic act here <laughs> I don't know but uh, I don't have too much more to say about this it's not really interesting you can't take any parts out it doesn't come with any real life uh, pieces like the creeper did in terms of like gunpowder or pork chops or <laughs> zombie flesh and anyways everyone I hope that you did enjoy this uh, what do you think of this is this something that you want to go out and get I think that it's a strange build but I think that it is good because the pig is really iconic I think for Minecraft it's used in a lot of the at least when I think back years and years on the on the Minecraft website it was always him with Steve so 
really great to get this in big figure form, but I'm interested to see how these look scale-wise, of course, with the other big figures. But that'll be a video probably in January once we get all the reviews out for the other sets. But anyways, everyone, I hope that you did enjoy this. Be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on the latest LEGO 2020 set reviews. We got a ton more Minecraft sets to look at and build and review, so stick around for that. But I hope that you did enjoy this, and I hope that you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.